Hello and welcome to my rather messy desk for this uh, really rather random Rocket Ruler video. Um, so, um, first of all, I've got a bit of a cold. Well, actually, I've got a stinker of a cold, so I sound a little bit ropey, or ropier than normal. Um, so I'll try not to cough, but if I do, apologies. Um, so, ever since I've been making stuff, I've been really... I've always, periodically... Uh, return to like making uh, my own kind of drawing and measuring tools um, quite often built around Inkscape and this amazing path effect uh, plugin they have for um, uh, making kind of ruled uh, uh, devised, divided kind of lines, paths um, so yeah, so like making big set squares I've made, um, this is kind of useful, I made this kind of like really skeletonized, quite large um, protractor usually I've made these when I've just been without them and needed one and been in a Maker space. So this is like I've made loads of these, like scrap kind of bits of perspex that I've turned into a ruler that I kind of needed. But one of the first rulers uh, that I made, and this is still up, I think, on my Thingiverse. It's one of the first things I made when I had access to a laser cutter, and it's a rocketry ruler. And it's obviously um, it has this. Oh, where's the? Oh, there we go. Uh, strange autofocus. Yeah. So it's um, it's made out of two bits of laser cut wood that have kind of been uh, clipped together and glued at nine. 90 degrees and the brilliant thing about 90 degree uh, kind of tools like this is if you and you'll know this if you're into rockets if you place like a 90 degree bit of kind of whatever i've got various things that do this like just within reach there's uh, a nice long bit of uh, aluminium that i use as, as a tool to do this um if you align it on a tube, um, this li the line will always be on the centre line of the tube and it will always be kind of vertical compared to the, to the tube. So if you want to mark where to put a fill or where to put like a launch lug or whatever, um, you can guarantee that you'll get a line that's on the centre line and in the line of the tube. So useful useful little things. So I've kind of returned to this. So I've, I've been um, writing for Hackspace magazine. I've been writing a series on KeyCAD, the free and open source. Um, PCB design uh, software suite, um, amazing bit of kit, and um, I've designed all kinds of uh, PCBs. But I did need, uh, I've never done a PCB ruler, so I wanted to do a PCB ruler. Um, and I also, this was kind of a little project because I needed a project to just kind of upload to lots of different uh, PCB fabrication services and see how it went. Actually, what you're looking at is a slight outtake because the ones, the only place that I actually ordered, and I won't name the fabricator house, it's not a tremendously common one. So, um, and you can read about it in the Hackspace magazine series, but um I uploaded it to them, and even though uh, this the, the silk screen was selected as uh, white, they've actually sent me red on red, so it's not the most readable, but it does look kind of cool as well. So, yeah, so there's that. Anyway, I wanted to talk about what these rulers are. So, they're made out of PCB material, so they're kind of uh, pretty stiff, but got a little bit of flex into them. So, of course, you can use them, you know, for drawing lines. Forgive me as well, I'm doing stuff through the camera, which is always a bit tricky. Um because it's PCB, it's fiberglass, so they're also kind of good enough if you wanted to make kind of cuts. I shouldn't have done that there, because I need that bit of paper in a minute. But yeah, you can make cuts with your craft knife, etc. So why is that to do with rocketry? Well, there's numerous other little bits and bobs that this ruler can do that can help you, sort of, with your rocketry. Um, <clears throat> I like kind of using 3D print with all the high techy techy stuff, but even for things like my IMP, my UK altitude record holder for A class um, rocketry, um, I, I remember I actually made the cut the fins, uh, you know, out of a balsa panel using a using a knife, and I actually built most of that rocket. Uh, in a bunk bed on a holiday in a youth hostel with my family on a walking holiday uh, and bike riding holiday years ago. So I've always kind of liked carrying kind of little tools to, to help me kind of hand build rockets as well because it can be fun. So uh, this rocket has numerous little tools that can help you, uh, perhaps. So it's got all these holes in them. So the holes are actually in two banks. There's a bank on the left hand side. There's a bank on the right hand side. The first holes are much smaller and they're designed to take a little uh, safety, uh, what do you call them? Thumbtack, that's the American name. What do you call them? Drawing pin, there we go. Uh, put, a, put a drawing pin through them. The rest of the holes are to draw circles with, to use this as a compass. Uh, this bank on the left-hand side are all, all holes that correspond to BT 
uh, which is Estes body tube sizes. So we've got BT5, BT20, BT50, BT55, BT60 and BT80. So if you press this, I'm actually working on a little cork board here. My hands are filthy as well. If you press that in with the centre and then you pick a hole, um, you can draw a nice circle, pick another hole, you can draw another nice circle. So yeah, so um, the centres of these holes correspond to the outside diameters of BT body tubes um, and the holes are just over two millimeters so the idea is, is that you can put a, they'll take a pencil or they'll take a kind of biro a ballpoint kind of pen and if you um, angle the uh, pen you can sort of get an internal or an external kind of thing you know if you're building a big BT-80 rocket you probably don't want to be necessarily using this but it's more of a little field expedient thing that you can do um, and it also is useful for other stuff that we'll get to in a minute. On the other side, uh, we've got another zero hole, and then we've just got common rocketry diameters. So we've got 30 millimeters, 80 millimeters, 24, 29, 38, 54, and 75 millimeters. Again, if you're building a 54 millimeter motor mount rocket, don't don't use this to make your centering rings out of a piece of cardboard because that's going to end really badly. Okay, what else can you do with it? Well, ha just with this, without using any other tools, you can actually make things like... So you can make, like, uh, fin alignment jigs or fin marking guides for three fin, four fin, even, like, six fin. And in case you've forgotten how to do that with just... Um, well, with just this ruler, but in, in, in school, you probably learn how to do this um, with a uh, compass. Um, so the way that we can get a three fill wall is if we use the centre and draw a line across. And then what we're going to do for a three fill guide is you need to measure um, the radius and then mark it at a halfway point between the centre and the edge of the uh, circle that you're using. So that's about uh, 34, so we're like kind of 50, 60, 17 millimetres, is about halfway, so about there. And then, uh, obviously, you take your time and do this more accurately. And then what you can do is, is get, say, like the 50 millimetre mark and line that up with that mark. And what you need to do is mark these two edges, but you need to make sure that this is kind of vertical. And the way that you can do that with a ruler is... Basically, these have got to be uh, the biggest distance that they can be, and they've both got to be equal. So if you put it, you know, like this, which is obviously a bit obvious, this one is much shorter, this one is much longer. So when you get it right, they should both measure equally, um, and they should both be as kind of large as they can be. And then you can kind of mark them, and then you can, of course, use the ruler to go from the center line out. So there we go, so that's one, and there's... Again, you take your time and do this a bit more accurately. So there you go. You've got your kind of three, three fin marking jig there. Um, to do a four uh, fin one, <clears throat> you could just kind of, you know, try and get this nice and vertical compared to the first line that you drew. But that's not very really accurate. So a more accurate way that you may remember from school is put your pin in the end. And what you're going to do is use the put the pin in the edge of one of your and sort of equator lines and then you need to use a circle uh you need to use a hole that draws a circle that's bigger than um the halfway point of this so actually we could we could use this one here so i'm going to draw a big arc like that and then i'm going to do the same from the other side but you need to remember which hole you used because you need to use the same hole if that makes sense so, put the pin through there. God, I'm making a bad job of this. Put the pin through there, using my non-dominant hand, which is difficult. Put it into there. Use the same hole that we used on this side. And then, basically, you just need to mark where they cross. So then, if you get your ruler and you draw a line through uh, those points in the centre point, you have, you have got... A dead straight kind of 90 degrees on each one, um, four way kind of fin guide. I won't get into it, but you can also get into like there are ways to use this to draw like numerous circles and arcs. And this is like a way that you can use it to uh, draw through and get 
these are like the six if you wanted six fins and stuff like that so yeah there's loads and loads and loads of stuff like that uh, the other thing you can do with this ruler is you notice this one's got some screws in it well on the back there are some little uh, threaded inserts and so that turns it putting two or three of these in um, actually turns it into uh, like this device so you can grab a tube and place place it so that the inserts are touching the tube uh, and then this always sits on the center line for marking and measuring works on any size tube just to kind of show you so if i place this one on there and get the get the, all all the uh the the studs in contact um, there we go it kind of lines up so yeah it's a really rather random rocket ruler and um, i'm going to stick some of these on my tildy because i've got a few spare and um, i'm not going to charge very much for them stuff on my tildy you know it's not a mega business i uh, stick stuff up there because i think people might be interested and uh, any little profits that i do make usually just go back into either more materials to make more stock or to help me kind of pay for little bits to make more interesting little doohickeys that hopefully delight and amuse people so there we go um, check out the links underneath for uh when they're on tildy and um i'll uh I'll, I'll thank you for watching yeah so take care i'm off to get a lem sip other other cold treatments are available take care bye bye